Now this is uh, the first in a series of videos I've been meaning to do for a while. This is going to be how to update your motherboard BIOS by Linus. We're going to start with Gigabyte as my first BIOS update video. And step one, go to gigabyte.com, the manufacturer website. Step two, click support and downloads. Step three, go to downloads and search for the name of your board. In this case, it is the Snooper, the Sniper. Now I'm still using the shipping BIOS on this board, so anything I choose will be an upgrade. BIOS, so there's a couple ones available. We've got F1, which is the first release. No need to download and reflash that. We've got F2, which is the latest um, release BIOS, and then we've got a beta BIOS. I'm not going to be using a beta BIOS, so I am going to use the latest release BIOS. I'm gonna ship that somewhere. Okay, in this case, why don't I save it to just straight downloads and we'll go from there. Okay, so it's a small file because it's not an EFI BIOS. We're going to extract it to a particular folder here. That slash that slash that slash BIOS. Then we're going to go there. Here we are. Find that, and we are going to... Really? Yeah, I wouldn't think that would work. Okay, so then we're going to take that file, and we are going to copy it to a USB drive. So I'm just going to grab a USB drive here. My trusty Patriot Rage. Plug that into any USB port on the back of the PC. Let me use this one. There we go. So that's plugged in. Now, I'm going to take the BIOS file right here. I'm going to cut that and I'm going to throw it just into the root of my Patriot drive. All right, I'm going to restart the computer. and show you guys how to update from the F1 BIOS to the F2 BIOS. I wasn't planning to do this in real time. I was gonna cut the video up and do steps, but it's taking so little time that I might as well just uh, do it this way. Aha, end. So there, you press end to get into QFlash. But I think I already pressed delete to enter setup, so it'll just be a moment. Well, it looks like I can also get into QFlash from here by pressing F8. Enter the QFlash utility. Yes, I would like to update BIOS from Drive. I will be using this. I will be scrolling down to the BIOS file, and then I will be, yes, I'm sure. Now, I highly recommend having your computer plugged in to a UPS while you are doing a BIOS flash, because should there be a power outage right now, uh, let me just check. I don't believe this board features dual BIOS, although I could, oh, it does. Okay, so it features dual BIOS. So even if there's a power outage in theory, there should be uh, no no long-term problem with my system. I would just be able to reflash the BIOS. But if you have a single BIOS board, then that could be a real issue for you. So press any key to continue. And that was it. So now we'll go back into Windows and I'll show you guys how to confirm. I've noticed the fact that when flashing your BIOS, uh, you will usually overwrite any settings that have been uh, entered into it, such as overclocking settings, uh, turning off the splash screen when it boots, all that kind of stuff. And also, I should note that you should always have your system set to the default settings, not overclocked when you are going to flash the BIOS to avoid any kind of instability during the BIOS flashing process that would cause it to error out. Now I will use CPU-Z to verify that my flash was successful. You can see I am now using version F2 of the BIOS, which was released on March 29th, 2011. So there you go. Thank you for checking out my BIOS update guide. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, apparently guides, and other computer videos.